How did ancient empires build gigantic structures? You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. Earth is littered with ancient ruins. While the Egyptian pyramids or Stonehenge may be the most well-known examples, they are far from the only relics of bygone empires. Pyramids, mounds, and ziggurats can be found across the planet, and other gigantic structures, such as the statues at Easter Island, baffled archaeologists and historians for decades. How were these monuments built? What exactly did Edward Leedskalnen mean when he mentioned the secrets of the pyramids? Was it as simple as human ingenuity? Or was there, as some fringe theorists have argued, something else in play? Here's where it gets crazy. The idea that antiquated civilizations might have had access to lost techniques or technology is not new. Today, it's often associated with the so-called paleocontact hypothesis, better known as the ancient alien theory, the idea that past societies were somehow assisted by extraterrestrials. Writers like Robert Chereau, Eric von Däniken, Zechariah Sitchin, and more argue these points by citing their interpretations of decorations, symbols, and images on ruins. Most of the scientific community dismisses these ideas completely. Critics note that there's no concrete proof of any alien contact and that fanciful myths are simply that, legends reinterpreted to match the pre-existing beliefs of theorists. But if they didn't have help building it, then how did these empires create these buildings? While scholars accept that earlier civilizations could construct these marvels, not everyone agrees on the specifics. How complex were the tools? For example, in the past, many scholars didn't believe Egyptians had access to pulleys, a belief that was later proved conclusively false. And while we have learned much about the types of tools early builders used, few examples have survived to the modern day. Enthusiasts such as retired carpenter W.T. Wallington have proven that, with some relatively simple wooden devices, building these gigantic structures wasn't near as improbable as we might assume. There's another wrinkle here. Critics also note that theories about aliens carry a tinge of condescension and, at worst, racism. An implication that earlier cultures were simply not capable of creating these architectural masterpieces. This is not a new practice either. When Europeans discovered the ruin of Great Zimbabwe, they assumed that the native people just weren't intelligent enough to build it and declared that some ancient white race must have been responsible. So what's more likely? Could the hypotheses about ancient aliens just be a newer version of earlier ethnocentric assumptions? Or is there really something more to the story? Something that they, whether ancient aliens, ancient humans, or modern researchers don't want you to know? Learn more about the latest breakthroughs in ancient construction techniques in our next episode.